So, are you wondering how to get glow ink sacks in Minecraft? Well, I'm going to show you and tell you how to get them. So, to get glow ink sacks, you need to find the glow squids. Now, to find glow squids, you can find two or four of them, and they spawn typically underwater, below sea level, and at Y30 or lower in total darkness. Okay? So, it can be in the deep oceans or just deep underground. So, for now, we're going to go into the spectator just so you can see this visually because it gives us x-ray vision but you see all these dark depths underneath so level 30 and lower where there is water and water sometimes is known as aquifers or other things like that and where it's complete darkness they can spawn so look there's light right here coming down yeah they won't spawn right here so we won't find any this is a pretty cool place by the way but oh oh See, you see this dark water spot right here? Okay, let's look at our level. Y19, okay, so they can spawn right here in this water. Now, it doesn't mean that you're always going to find them in these locations, but you can. And you can do one of two things. You can either kind of be in that general area for a little bit, hoping they spawn. Huh, there's a little bit of light. I actually would remove this light. You know, here. Let's see, we need to make it so you can see better. Where are we? There we go. Sorry, you probably want to see better. Okay. Anyways, that's one of the places where they can spawn. I'm just going to look and see if we happen to see any that have already spawned. Oh, and with this geode over there. There's a lot of crazy stuff. But when you're in spectator mode, you can see better, and you kind of just look for squids that are glowing. Now, um... Obviously, you can't do this in survival, so the best way to do this in survival is actually go exploring, like, big caves. Like, you saw that one big cave I was in? Saw how it was huge? Yeah, those are good ones to go exploring. They can be dangerous, so bring lots of torches. Yeah, like this one. And just keep your eyes open for water sources. Now, as far as water sources like this coming down, I don't know whether or not they're supposed to be able to spawn there, but... The truth is, I have seen them before in these waterfalls. Quite rare, but I have seen them. Now, um, if you were going to go killing them, hoping for, you know, glow ink sacks, I would suggest you get a sword with looting three, so that they have an increased chance of dropping more ink sacks. Oh gosh, these are some really cool caves. Here's another cave that would be good to go explore through. Bring lots of torches, of course, or potions, and of course you go exploring them in peaceful, you'll have a much easier chance of finding them. It's quite possible that none are going to spawn for me because I'm in spectator. I forget if the mob, uh, if the chunks update for mob spawns if I'm in spectator. But if you're in, you know, survival going about, that's what you do. The, the bigger the water source underground with no, with no light, the more likely you'll have them spawn in that area. Mob spawner. Okay, well, so that's how it works um, for finding the glow squids. And of course, if you kill them, they'll drop the ink sacks, and then you've got them. And you can use them to do cool things, like make glow item frames. Or I think you can use them for glow-in-the-dark signs as well. You just right-click on your sign with a glow ink sack, and it starts to glow. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, so that's about that. Um, yeah, if you have questions about that, I mean, ask in the comments below. But uh, that's about it. And that's about... Here, I'll come a ghost. <laughs> that's how you get glow ink sacks.